Hi friends, welcome to Cards by TLC. My name is Tammy Savello and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of the San Francisco Bay Area. Whether you are joining me for the first time or returning, welcome. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so happy to have you here. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future lives and videos. I do have a personal goal of reaching a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, so I would love your help reaching that goal, and I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you all so much who have already subscribed. Well, today is Thursday, July 27th, and we are streaming here live right here on YouTube. So if you are catching me on the replay, go ahead and skip forward for a minute or so while I say hello to everyone. Hello, Nell. Welcome in. Thank you for joining me today. Hello, everyone. Well, today we are playing with a returning favorite, Bottled of Happiness, which actually can be found on page 98 in your annual catalog. It does come with a coordinating cute little bottle punch. I have to be honest with you, it's been a really long time since I played with this bundle. So I am having, I had a lot of fun playing with it this week. So let's go ahead and look at our card class to go. We are, oops, my little dies are stuck to this. We are creating these three cards today absolutely love it had so much fun i um don't have a lot of masculine cards so i thought that this one was a lot of fun to play so these are the three cards that we're making on the live video and if you place a on a order in my online store through july 31st of 35 dollars or more you'll receive the supplies to make two of each of these three projects so you will get to make six cards total um, I will have pre-cut and prep uh, the cardstock for you um, for anything that you need to create these, um, but I will not send anything stamped or stamped and cut um, out of this bundle. Stampin' Up! does not allow me to um, stamp and stamp and cut images, so you will be um, just receiving the cardstock for this. So here is our host code that you're going to want to use. So take a screenshot of that and it will be in the description box below. So don't worry about it. But if you want to take a quick, quick screenshot, there it is. One day I will be fancy and be able to have that um, in the corner of my screen. But in the meantime, that is what you get. But when you do place a $50 order before tax and shipping, as a thank you to me, you will be receiving a you will be receiving the 2023-2025 in color dots. So you'll be receiving plenty of these to play with your cards today as well as future cards and creations. Hello, Sherry. Welcome in. You're watching from Southeast Indiana. Well, welcome to Northern California <laughs> and my live. Thank you for joining me. So let's go ahead and get started. Also on today's projects, we will be reusing not only that bundle, but we will be using my favorite. It's a fan favorite in my studio, and that's the deckled rectangles. We'll be using all different shapes and sizes today. So Let's go ahead and put that aside so that is out of the way and let's get started on our first project. So this is our first project. It, like I said, I wanted to do some masculine um, birthday cards. I have a craft fair this, um, this weekend so I wanted to showcase some fun um, cards. So I thought this was a little bit more masculine but it could be used for anything. And the colors that we are using on today's project on this first card, um, we are using Misty Moonlight, Boho Blue, Lost Lagoon. Okay, so this, let's look at this trio right here. Hello, <laughs> that makes me a happy camper. Granny Apple Green and Parakeet Party. So those are our colors that we're going to be using today and stamping with. 
So let's put those off to the side for right now and bring in our pieces. And in your kit, you will be receiving a um, crumb cake card base, which is your standard top fold A4 card size. You will be receiving two pieces of um, the deckled rectangle in basic white, one for your inside and one for your front. And then you will also be receiving a extra piece of basic white to do your stamping and cutting out. So let us go ahead and start off by decorating the inside of our card like we have here and bring in our jug. So we need our jug and our little sprig piece. Let's see here. Here we go. And our jug is in Lost Lagoon, which is my fave, one of my faves. Like I said, that combo that I showed you before, that makes me a happy girl. I'm a green and blue girl. And then we also need to bring in our piercing mat because we are using our photopolymer stamps have that extra cushion and then I just stamped that in the bottom left hand corner and then we're going to come in with granny apple green and stamp our this is a great green I said I've been crafting up a storm this week um, in my crafting studio. I have my first craft fair of the season. It's an earlier. Oh, well, that was fun. Okay, I had an extra stamp stuck to that. Did you see that? Okay, well, we're going to flip that over. That was a fun thing. I was like, where did that come from? <laughs> that is our label piece. And so we are going to re-stamp this in, um, in Lost Lagoon. That was a lot of fun. We're off to a great start, aren't we? <laughs> okay, let's re-stamp our jug. Like I was saying, I have um, our craft fair this weekend here locally at our senior center here in town and I'm excited about that but um it's early but we're going to be also going back to the same location and um doing it later on in the holiday season so I've been making birthday cards and anniversary cards and all that fun stuff and then tomorrow on my fun fold friday you'll see one of the projects that I created for the fair. So please be sure to join me tomorrow for my Fun Fold Friday. I'm trying not to... There we go. That was kind of a weird angle. I was afraid I was going to get my hand in the ink, but we, we managed. So let's go ahead and adhere that to the inside of our card. Luckily, we have two sides to our cardstock, right? Okay, so now we're going to be working on decorating the front. And let us start with, um, let's start with the left side. So we're going to come in with our um, parakeet party and stamp our, you know what? No scratch that let's bring in our scrap pieces and even though I have pre-cut everything out I'm just going to show you really quick what I did um, I'm going to come in with crumb cake and we are going to stamp our two labels and let us use the opposite side here I ran out of um blocks so we're just going to double side this so this is in crumb cake and then i'm coming in with um early espresso yep 
you have been asked to sell. I just don't know what, how to price. That is a great question, Cheryl. Cheryl. So you're in um, Indiana. So I kind of base my pricing off of location and I'm in the Bay Area. So typically I sell my cards at craft fairs. I sell them sometimes four, sometimes five. Typically, I sell them for $4 each. Um, I know that's on the lower price point, but my cards are pretty basic. And, um, and so I think $4 to $5 is a good price range. Some people sell like three for 10. I personally don't do a like a three, four. I know a lot of places like to see that kind of thing, but for me, I do pretty well with the four to five dollar price range. So I hope that helps. It, we're talking card wise. Now, if we're talking like 3D project wise, it just depends on the project. So I have stamped my um, sentiment on the inside and what and then we're going to come in with the cork and do two of those as well and that is in our crumb cake so this is what you're going to want to do when you um if you make the cards exactly like my kits and we would do two quirks and then you would just fussy cut that out actually we just need one cork because scratch that you would just need one cork because the other one is stamped directly onto the um, the cardstock. So let us start out by coming in and bringing in our parakeet party and our jar. You're welcome. And our bottle. I said jar. <laughs> so we are going to stamp our bottle in parakeet party. And Cheryl, reach out to me if you would like if you have any questions, I have been doing craft fairs for years and I'm not an expert by any means, but I've, I've done a lot. So I've had a lot of experience with that. So if you have any questions, feel free to just reach out to me. Okay. There's the parakeet jar. And then I'm going to come back in and do the cork and crumb cake and luckily these are photopolymers so you can kind of see where that's lined up when you don't have the glare there we go it's kind of a crooked cork but that's okay <laughs> And then I am going to come in with my Lost Lagoon again. Did I put it? Where did I put my Lost Lagoon? Okay, you got buried over here. And then do the same thing with my jug and my sprigs. And then, oops, I'm gonna almost have that issue. And then I kind of see where the bottoms of the jug and the bottle line up. And then come in here. Yep, that's pretty even, I think. And then come back in with my Granny Apple Green. Hi, Kathy, welcome. Into the first um, card. So you have not missed much at all. Again with the granny apple green on the sprigs. One there. One there. There we go. And then what we did, let me just show you really quick on how to do the jar. So let's go ahead and bring in that piece that we were using for our stamping and let me show you how to stamp your jar and line that up so you kind of have 
that outline piece in the jar or the bottle. I keep saying the jar, but the bottle. So let me just get, make sure we have our ink off really quick. And so this is a two step. Like I said, you can either do the solid piece of the um, bottle, but this is a two step. So you have your bottle. And then if you want that halo around like that um, shadow on your bottle, this is the second piece that you would be using to do your bottle. So what we did was we stamped our bottle in boho blue. And then you stamp that down. And with Misty Moonlight, which is a little bit of a darker hue, and then come in and see the outline of that. You line that up with the bottom of your jar and that this glare is a lot of fun to do. Here we go. I'm trying to see where I can catch my eye on lining that up. You're gonna line the edges up, line that down, and there you go. And then you come in with your punch and it's not going to line up perfectly the way I have my pieces, but you're going to line that bottle up, punch that out. And we all know on my lives with the magic of TV, we have our pieces pre-cut out. So I have pre-cut my um, cork and my two labels that are gonna go on the front of my card. So let's go ahead and get these out of the way. And we can come in. Now our happy birthday to you, I believe the happy birthday came from, ooh, which stamp set? I believe it's from, the happy birthday came from the something something fancy stamp set. I just needed something, just a basic happy birthday. Unfortunately, this um, stamp set does not come with a happy birthday sentiment. So I just went ahead and pulled what I had on my um, shelf. And that sentiment is stamped in early espresso. So let's go ahead and stamp that before we just finish up building our first card here. There we go. And then I'm gonna glue these labels on our bottles. Just glue that straight down right there. And we're gonna glue this one. There we go. And then I'm gonna come in with some Stampin' Dimensionals and pop that jar up. Now on my original, I had my jars, my jar and my bottles just a little bit closer. So you can make them like a good distance apart or closer. And because you're popping this one up, it just kind of um, makes that green one in the background of your bottles. So. There is that, and then we will just put some adhesive on the back, and then we're gonna come in with our in color, Pebbled Path, and use these dots. Now my putty knife, I think I have a little bit of putty left, so we'll see if I can pull um, some of these guys off 
to finish it off. There we go. I had a little bit of putty left on that. I need to get some more putty for my take your pick tool. And there is our first card. Fun, right? So let us go ahead and get these ink pads out of the way and put these stamps down and out of the way and come in with card number two. And card number two is our floral bottle of cheer. There we go. And the colors that we are using on this one is for our bottle, I am using gray granite and smoky slate for the outline. And for our floral, I'm using Moody Mauve and Granny Apple Green. So those are the colors that we are using on this card. I'm glad you loved it. And let's bring in these pieces. Now the pieces that you'll be receiving in this kit is you will be receiving a Moody Mauve card base, which is your standard A4 card base, and then a basic white piece for the inside, and then a Granny Apple deckled piece, and a basic white for your stamping focal piece. So let's go ahead and do the inside first, and I believe I stamped that in Moody Mauve. And then that way that is done and out of the way. You know me, I kind of like to do the inside pieces first. So let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment in Moody Mauve. And that sentiment is overflowing with happiness. Get this out of the way. Moody Mauve is very pretty. I Mauve was my mom's favorite color, so I have a happy place with mauves. You know me, I'm a blue girl, but if I were to choose a pink, um, I think mauve would be one of my favorites. I know it's kind of, it was very popular in the 90s, so a lot of my mom's, I think her bathroom was in mauve, and she always wore mauve um nail polish so you have this stamp set in need of war you absolutely can case my cards anytime you want i am honored when anybody cases my cards that means i did my job right so there is our sentiment and let's go ahead and add that to the inside go and I thought these colors kind of went together pretty well um I wouldn't have originally put that but when I was doing the green leaves I was like hmm, I guess I'll use granny apple for that so that's what I ended up using so let's go ahead and do our stamping on the front and we need um I need that bottle again and our outline so let me clean it off from the previous use I have my stamp and scrub off to the side here so bear with me okay and we are going to stamp directly onto our card base and we are stamping our jar in gray granite. There we go. And I must have had a piece of hair on that stamp set because there's, yep, I could see that. That's going to be fun trying to get off one of the cat hairs. Okay. 
Okay, that is not coming off. Well, our jar is gonna have a nice little swirly mark on it, which is fine. I don't know if I have it on, no, I don't have it on the third one. So that's the last of the jar. So I'll play with getting that off, off camera. So gray granite, we're gonna, or smoky slate, we're gonna come in with our outline. Oh, well that was fun. We're having a fun time on my live today. Okay, well we'll have to play with that off camera as well because that's gonna take a minute for me to get that back on there. We are just live TV, folks, live TV. Bloopers and practical jokes is what we're gonna call this one. And there we go. This is one of the older um, formats. So we'll pop that back on and deal with that later. I'm not going to deal with that on live, on live TV. So we are going to put that aside and come in with our two step of our floral arrangements. Now we also need a piece of scrap because we are stamping off our Moody Mauve. I'm telling you, Kathy, <laughs> we're having a party in my crowd on our live today, Patty. <laughs> so we are going to come in with Moody Mauve and I'm going to gently flip that over. And then we are stamping off and then coming in with our floral. Is that the right way? Yeah, that's the right way. And then coming in with our granny apple with our leaves. And then I like to line the centers of the flowers with the, the little flowers with the center open spots. That's what you're going to want to do. There you go. I did not line that up very well. You know what? I'm not liking that. Let's, you know what? We're just going to go with it. You're going to definitely want to line that up just a little bit better. I came in with a bad angle um, with my camera, but as you can see in the original, we line that up. And if you notice closely, when you stamp that off, I was hoping for kind of like the outline image, but it's not horrible. It's, it's fine. Um, where it just kind of looks like there's a flower on top of that, but that's okay. We're just going to kind of go with it. I don't want to fuss with that. It just absolutely makes it real. Um, so we're just going to kind of go with that and we're going to say that that that's lined up just fine. And then I'm going to come in. You will also in your kit be receiving some twine as well. Um, but I just wanted to pull that off of my um, spool and dealing with it off of my spool rather than having the piece. So I doubled up my bow. Come in here. You know me. I don't like doing bows on camera but we're gonna make it work because I'm usually all fingers and all thumbs so we're gonna try doubling that up again come in okay and then I'm gonna pull that off and angle that off just a little bit Come in with my snips, give that a haircut, snap that off, give that a haircut, and then come in with my glue dots. Oh, you know what? That's a really good idea. We're going to, my blends are off to the side, but I'm going to use the Stampin' Blends and draw in some center flowers absolutely perfect thanks patty patty to my rescue my blends are off to the side but that's okay and boy 
This is a lot of fun. Okay, I am fussing with this a little too much. Bring that down a little bit and there we go. Come in with our adhesive and attach that to our front. And we're gonna pretend that's colored in a little bit better. And then come in here. You guys get the gist of it. And if you are putting together one of my kits, I apologize for not having it lined up perfectly, but I'm sure you will do a much better job at that than I did. And then coming in with some Moody Mauve uh, dots. And we will have this one finished. There we have it. Kind of have a little bow mess. There we go. There's our little bow. And there is project number two. Patty is always to my rescue on thinking things out. So we are going to now move on to project number three. And the colors that we are using for project number three, we are using Lost Lagoon for our jug. We are using Balmy Blue for our flowers and Granny Apple Green for our leaves. And hopefully we can line this up just right and have a better match up with that. We shall see how my vision lines up for that. <laughs> so let me go ahead and put that off to the side there. And we are going to bring in our pieces that we need that. And our card base is in Lost Lagoon and you will be receiving a basic white piece for the inside. You will be receiving two other deckled basic white pieces for the front. So let's go ahead and I did not score that, but that's okay. Your card base will be pre-scored and ready to go. And you will also have twine in your kit as well. But again, I'm pulling off of my spool, so it's easier for me. So let's go ahead and put that down. Mauve is starting to grow on you. You know what? It's so funny because stamping it directly, Katie, or Kathy, sorry, Kathy, um, I apologize, Kathy. Uh, stamping it directly, it's kind of like a, almost a muddy look. So when you stamp it off, it gives it more of a true mauve. But once it dries, I think it's less muddy. So the key is to maybe like on a solid image, maybe stamp it off and give it just a, a lighter look. But mauve is definitely growing on me as well. So let's go ahead and stamp our um, sentiment and our focal point. So overwhelming with happiness. And that is going to be stamped in Lost Lagoon. I apologize for our neighbor's dogs if you hear barking in the background. I don't like what I hear all day long, but I, I tune it out after a while. And then while I have that out, we're going to go ahead and bring in our deckled piece and our jug again. And we're going to pray that it works just fine. It's just coming in below the camera. I still have that 
glare. So sometimes it's really, really challenging to line that up. And then we're gonna come in with our floral piece. And that is gonna be in balmy blue. Your dog was just howling at a siren. <laughs> I'm telling you. Good times. <laughs> And then granny apple green for our leaves. Okay. I might have to get my head in the camera on this one. Bear with me just one second. much better. I did it. Sorry if my head was in the camera, but I lined it up this time. Woohoo! I'm a happy camper now. <laughs> so we are going to go ahead and line that up and adhere that to our front piece. There we go. And then I'm going to come in with my really tangled up twine here. And then I'm going to wrap that around. First, I'm going to put some adhesive down on the back. Wrap this around my hand a couple of times and you'll have a bit of twine in your kits as well. Wrap that around at a twist. Put that down. And then I'm going to come in with my Stampin' Dimensionals and pop this baby up. And I'm going to flip that around and kind of Play with those and spread that twine apart. Spread that out. Spread that out. Lay that down right about there and just kind of spread those pieces apart. And then I'm going to come in with my dots again and in my boho blue, I think I'll do one right there. On the original I had them all up here, but maybe one here and maybe one there just to do something a little different. And there we have it, project number three. So let me go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and we will bring in all three projects again. So here we go. And project number two. We'll hide the bad one behind there. And project number three. Now remember for this class to go, the cutoff will be Monday, July 31st. Um, so be sure to use this host code again. And I hope that you enjoyed today's projects. I would love for you to make sure that you click that like button on my video. That helps my channel grow. Also, if you know of anyone who would like to watch my weekly lives, please be sure to share my channel with them. That helps me grow as well. Now, uh, tomorrow we come back with a fun fold Friday and we are again trying something new. 
with the premiere at 9 a.m. So what that means is that it's kind of like a live, but I will actually be in the chat watching it with you and answering any questions that you may have. So please be sure to tune in tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time if you would like to see my Fun Fold Friday and I will be in the chat to say hello to you and answer any questions. Oh, I'm so glad that you guys liked this, even with the, with the chaos behind the scenes. Um, so I thank you all for joining me again today. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and the weekend. And hopefully I will see you in the chat tomorrow. Otherwise, I will see you next week for another weekly to-go class. Hope you have a great day, everyone. Bye.